welcome to another weekly vlog and surprise we are not home we are actually in canada oh my gosh so it was an extremely impromptu decision yesterday so my in-laws the reason i didn't weekly vlog last week is my in-laws came down to spend fourth of july that like long weekend that long break with us and it was so nice just so nice to be with family and to be like super present and it was so lovely i hope you guys all had an amazing holiday and they were coming back up to ontario yesterday and a few of my plans that i had for this week fell through and i was like you know what like hugo and i aren't really doing anything why don't we come up with you like why don't we drive up and spend the week and so we decided super last minute to drive on up and spend the week with them and i'm so happy i love it here it's a stunning day we are actually taking hugo to the splash pad oh my gosh can you guys believe no eyelashes they all came out um my skin went through it last week i'll explain that more later but thankfully it's back to normal now that different stuff really messed me up but again i'll talk about that later um i'm gonna get ready for the splash pad and yeah i don't know what i'll like i don't know what we'll get up to this week but i'll bring you guys along and i'm just so happy to be here and spend some extra time with my in-laws and for hugo to spend some extra time with his grandparents um so let me get dressed so we can head on out to the splash pad time to go to the splash pad Sorry, Hugo, the splash pad is closed. Yeah. He said that's okay. Put <laughs> all that swimsuit stuff on. Well, we use it outside. So the splash pad is under construction. So we are playing with some water outside. So after a very long day playing outside and playing with family, Hugo is having some pasta. Just parents were able to rent this from like a nearby restaurant. <laughs> so great. Um, and Hugo's having some pasta and then we're gonna do bath and bed. I am exhausted from chasing him around all day. Is that good? Yeah. Here, look, there's some in there. He's using it as a face mask. That's amazing. Mm. Oh my gosh. Hi guys, good morning. It is 9.21. Hugo should be up from his first nap like any minute now. Um, so when his mom no one across the street, so that's probably what you hear. Um, this morning was good and it's a nice day out today. There's a huge, like the size of my hand mosquito on the window. Nature. I don't know what we're gonna end up doing today, to be honest. It's warm out, but not quite as sunny as it was yesterday. Um, so yesterday, the splash pad ended up being under construction, and so we came back here like you saw, and we just hung out outside, which was really nice, and some family came over. And I think today, we are going to just kind of play it low-key. I would love to go for a walk today with you, go. Um, I've been feeling just like, meh. Uh, it's something that I didn't mention about last week was i oh my gosh my skin last week guys was so bad and that like coupled with my lack of working out over the past <laughs> 60 months has just like left me in a place where i have not been feeling good about myself and like self-confidence and stuff um but yeah, that different, the moisturizer and the face wash for my like closed comedones or whatever wreaked havoc on my face. Like havoc, havoc, havoc. All here, like you can still see some of the remnants and I'll insert a picture, not cute. Um, all here was so dry and steamy and just terrible and then around my eyes too. And like I already have discoloration and darkness around my eyes. But this was a dryness that was not going away and that was like so itchy and uncomfortable and so i immediately went back to using um my it cosmetic secret sauce and i stopped using the different cleanser and the different uh, like everything everything i bought i stopped using and luckily it wasn't expensive it was all pretty inexpensive um, I also started using, my mom gave me this small serum, this like CBD serum, and it, it also has vitamin C in it and hyaluronic acid. And so I started using that every day and that's helped a lot too, just like 
bring that moisture into my face. And then at night, I've been using, been like lathering on um, rose hip, rose hip seed oil, rose seed hip oil, rose hip seed oil. And uh, that's been great as well. So last week was just a blur when it comes to like how bad my skin was doing. Um, but it's much better now which is good. I am editing a video for tomorrow. I am going to keep doing that. And yeah, if we do anything fun and exciting, I will bring you along. Here, puppy dog. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Ah. Yeah, puppy. Puppy, puppy dog. Ruff, ruff. Da, da. Yeah, puppy. Puppy. Uh. <laughs> puppy. Ruff, ruff, ruff. I'm out taking Hugo for a walk, and do we see this little bunny, Hugo? He's so beautiful. Do you see the bunny? So I'm out on a walk with Hugo. It's a really nice, really warm day. I just thought it might be nice to take a little walk and yeah, enjoy the outside. Prepared Hugo some dinner. I gave him some leftover pasta that he actually had last night as well, which you would have seen. Um, so we're getting ready for another really messy night. And I made him some chicken strips and some veggies. Guys, am I not the Julia child of moms? <laughs> I'm just trying my best. Chew, 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 honey. He's doing this new thing where he chews and then spits out all his food. Completely Chew, honey. asleep. My in-laws are watching the monitor and I am taking a bath. Feels so good. <laughs> oh, it's the comfortable bathtub too. Feels good. And then I'll probably head to bed. I'm gonna be like 8 45 by the time I'm in bed but a toddler life man. We're going to Walmart. You want to, here, you, you've got the smoothie, right? I'm going to take yeah. some water, too. Good call. Ready to go to Walmart, Tricky Noodle? Canadian Walmart. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's upside down, honey. There you go. Trying to find Hugo some toys for Nana and Grandpa's house. Right, honey? The cute puzzles. Well, nothing's gonna be simple. Cause that's just not how they make toys nowadays. <laughs> like unless you're these are always nice too. Yeah, this is cool. Lock set. That'd be fun. Yeah. Enjoy that. I mean, we can keep it at our place. Yeah. Let's yeah. see. Do you like this? <laughs> it's like right now, I really like this one. Mm. Oh, and it's got these you can put them in too. I, I like them. Well, to me, this is simple. It's good stacking stuff. Yeah. Colorful, no, I agree. Yeah. Be nice to play with. With an animal. 24 months plus, so it's perfect. He's way ahead of his Well, he's a very advanced child, <laughs> so. Okay, so we need to see this year. I think. Well, you know what? I think I got those cups at. So oh, the yes, like the stacking ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got them at Walgreens after Christmas. Like mm -hmm. they were two dollars or something. Yeah. And we're getting rid of all the toys. Okay. Yeah. Ooh. Look at this. It's yucky. Oh, that's Isn't so cute. cute. Two, three, four. That's really it's cute. Seven boats. You think you play with them in the bath? Yeah. Or are they not interesting enough? Just floating, you know? Right. No, I think you would. Okay, well, let's do that. I just like to have some at home here. Yeah. So many toys. Oh, look at that mini phone. <laughs> so cute. I had a phone like this when I was a kid. But it was oh, real. Yeah, but it was real. <laughs> That's cute. 
Thomas. I think that's good. Like, especially for his age right now. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, and we've got lots of things to pour water. Yeah. Okay. Springlings. Yeah, and then he'll know what he likes a little more. <gasps> Ooh, I wonder if they have any Game of Thrones. No. You like the baby? I don't get it. It's so cute. <laughs> Gosh, there's so many toys for kids. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, you have that. You got a little walker. Oh, we're looking for a little pool floaty. Uh, I don't. I'm coming. Where'd you go? Oh, there. Jeff says he uses his all the time. Yeah, and they're rainbow. I know. It's exciting. Do you use them? Um, no, because I never use a straw. Yeah, I do like to cycle up and say Pyrex. <laughs> you are pretty. Yeah, but they're only four dollars, which is really nice. Mm. <laughs> that's the mug I need no, with, for coffee in the morning. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, it's the Pioneer Woman. That's why she knows what to make and how to make it. These are cute. Look at these. Yeah. Very nice. That's pretty too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then I just ran into the store really quick, honey. So we just went to Walmart, and as we were shopping in Walmart, I said to my mother-in-law, I can't even remember the last time I was in a Walmart. Because there are no Walmarts near us. That's so funny. But they had everything. Um, they wanted to find some toys for Hugo, so we picked him up some things, some little blocks and stuff. Super cute. And my mother-in-law just ran into a grocery store here to pick up some stuff. And then we're going to head back. It's so hot today. Oh my gosh, the humidity is so high. Um, so I think we're just going to hang out by the pool today and just enjoy the warm weather. I think tomorrow it's supposed to predominantly rain. So we'll be spending a lot of time indoors tomorrow. But yeah, I can't believe it's already Wednesday. So crazy it's so crazy too because i wasn't expecting us to come up here at all so like the fact that we're just here now it's like oh my gosh this is so exciting um and i if you guys have been watching my channel for a long time then you'll know that besides obviously jeff's family and jeff being from canada um canada toronto is where we rehearsed when we both worked for disney cruise line so this whole region holds so many memories and such a special part of my life and of jeff and ours life of our life <laughs> and it's so great to be here so yeah i really miss jeff too yeah really miss him really miss that husband of mine how you doing back there toonie let me show you what we ended up getting at walmart so we got some bubbles these cute little stacking boats that i think you can also like connect somehow and then, oh these a hundred piece. I think this was like fifteen dollars or fourteen dollars. It's a pretty good deal. Just a smorgasbord <laughs> compilation of lunches past. But he seems to really like this vegan cheese. Hi guys, good morning. It's Friday, it's almost 9 a.m. My in-laws just left for the day. They're going into Toronto, the closest city to where they are. And my husband, today's actually the day Jeff is flying up. So 
Jeff is flying up to Toronto today. They're gonna meet up in the city a little bit later and then they're gonna go see a show tonight and then they'll be back this evening. So it's just Hugo and I all day. I like, genuinely don't know what to do with him today. Genuinely. And I'm like a little nervous and it's only 9 a.m. And yeah, I guess we'll go for a walk maybe. And um, the problem is my phone, like the service doesn't really work outside of the house. I don't know why, like it should, there's no reason that it shouldn't. But every time that we've gone on a trip and like gone somewhere, it hasn't worked. So I can't, I kind of was like, oh, maybe like we can drive somewhere, but my Google maps doesn't work. And I have like no idea where we are, where anything is. So I don't really want to get lost. Um, so yeah, we are just going to make do at home all day. <laughs> um, we can always like watch a few movies and hang out. Anyway, it's been like a really, really nice week and I'm definitely missing Jeff and missing Elsie, but it's been like a nice little break and good time with family. So I am going to wait for Hugo to wake up, try to brainstorm some other things that we could do today. I'll just like go on a really, really long walk. I don't know. Look who's awake. Hugo's having some avocado. And the sun just came out. So I'm thinking we might go for a walk. That might be nice. A nice way to spend the morning. It's only 9.30. <laughs> Good avocado? Yeah. Oh, that angel face. Oh. Oh, are you going to little Loco Hot Coco? <gasps> Dance. Are you dancing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh yeah, dancing? Well, it's an absolutely stunning day out. And we're going for a walk. That's lovely. I'm thinking maybe a little extra long walk. Being that I haven't moved in quite some time. <laughs> Oh my god, this house reminds me of Chris Jenner's Palm Springs house. Anybody? <laughs> so funny. So it's about 1230. Hugo, it's almost time for a second nap. So there was a dinosaur of a mosquito before. Like, truly, I hate bugs. I hate bugs. I hate spiders. I hate mosquitoes. I hate everything. All bugs. And no sooner had my in-laws left that I spotted a dinosaur of a mosquito in their kitchen. Like huge, 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 huge. Like literally the size of my palm. I can even show it to you because I'm looking at its dead body across the room from me. So anyway, I see this huge mosquito. It was like sort of caught in the sliding door. So I opened the sliding door and then, oh no, it was open and it was sort of like caught behind the, the the glass door. So I went to close the glass door thinking it was on the outside and like hoping that it wouldn't get in. But naturality was inside. I'm doing a terrible job of explaining that, but just know that like the dinosaur mosquito was inside. So then I was like, oh my God, what do I do? And it like sort of flew up to the top of the ceiling, but my father-in-law has a fly swatter. So I grabbed the fly swatter and I'm the type of person where like, I hate bugs with a passion, but I also have such a hard time killing them, especially when it's a mosquito the size of your hand or like any sort of ginormous insect. So I grabbed the fly swatter and I closed my eyes and I sat, uh, stood up on a chair and I like, swat at it. And I wish I was the type of person who could like look, here she go. I wish I was the type of person who could look when I like go aim to do that, but I couldn't look because I just hate even looking at bugs. And so I went to smack it and I knew that I didn't hit it, but then the worst thing happened and I couldn't find it. I was like, oh my gosh, there's this monster mosquito in the house. What do I do? <laughs> So I closed the door to our bedroom. If my in-laws are watching this, they're gonna get the, such a kick out of this. I shut the door to our bedroom, I shut the door to the bathroom, because I was like, okay, I cannot go to bed tonight knowing that there is a monster mosquito somewhere in this house. So if at least if I close the door, then he won't get in there. Anyway, long story short, I was playing in the living room with Hugo and looked at the windowsill, and it's dead. 
by the window so so if you want to see it i'll show it to you but i hate all things bugs i hate even just looking at pictures of bugs anything that has to do with bugs hate but um the monster mosquito is dead um and it is time for hugo to take a nap right honey time for a nap -a oh he's on his way all right so we're out for another walk hugo woke up from his nap and he was very upset so i thought i'd bring him outside for a little fresh air and it's doing him good we're back from our walk and Hugo decided that he wanted to play in the car. <laughs> so we're hanging out in our car in the driveway, as you do. So it's, what time is it? I think it's like 6.15, almost Hugo's bedtime. And after our second walk, we ended up coming home. He had like a little bit of a snack. He didn't really have a proper lunch today, but he wasn't really feeling it. Our afternoons have been really off lately and again i don't know if it's his age or a growing spurt or just him like exerting his independence but he recently has been not like skipping lunch but not not quite as like enthusiastic about it so he'll have like a little bit of a snack and then want a little snack a little bit later but he doesn't doesn't want like a full meal which is fine Anyway, after that, we came downstairs and we watched the beginning of Shrek, which actually scared him. <laughs> he got a little bit nervous. And I hadn't seen Shrek in years and years and years, so I didn't really quite know what to expect. Um, so then we changed it and I put on Madagascar and that was so cute. Oh my gosh, especially if you're a New Yorker. If you're a New Yorker, then it's like extra funny because there are a lot of jokes about Metro North and moving out of the city to Connecticut and like the suburbs and just like super relevant things. Um, but overall, really funny movie. Only like, we only really watched bits and pieces. I um, didn't really get to see the end, but it looked funny. Like the parts that we saw were pretty funny. And then I started making dinner and he had dinner and we did bath time. And Jeff and his parents won't be home till pretty late tonight. So after he goes to bed, I have like the evening to myself. Um, Jeff's dad so graciously prepared for me a homemade pizza. <laughs> so I have that to look forward to once he goes to bed. And then I was thinking like part, I have some editing that I have to do, but every night that he's gone to bed, I've done work and have devoted like all my free time to editing and getting videos up. So I thought maybe it would be nice this evening to actually just like come down here and watch something. <laughs> I, I think I'm like gear, like gravitating toward watching an episode of Game of Thrones. Surprise, surprise. Because Con of Thrones is happening this weekend and I so, so wish I was there. It's happening in Tennessee. It's what you can imagine it is mention for Game of Thrones enthusiast, enthusiasts slash nerds. And I so, so, so wish I was there. So maybe since I can't make it to Con of Thrones, I'll watch some Game of Thrones. I don't know. We shall see. But yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on this guy so that he doesn't like totally destroy their entertainment system and then put him to bed. Hi guys, we're home. It's Sunday. We just got in about, I think it was like a half hour ago and my mom was still here. My mom was watching Elsie while we were away um, this past weekend and we got to spend some time with her. Hugo is watching The Grinch and living his best life. I am unpacking and doing some laundry. It was so lovely to get away for the week and to be up in Ontario, but it's also really nice to be back and to just kind of get back into the swing of things now and get back into a bit of a routine. I realized we haven't been like in our normal routine since before July 4th. So it's exciting to like get back into the swing of things, um, but really a huge, 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 change of events that was decided last night i'm gonna say um we are going to transition hugo to his own bed in his own room i'm in hugo's room right now um for the first time tonight uh, i figured tonight was as good a night as any because i noticed that this past week sleeping at my in-laws just him and i because jeff didn't come up as you guys know, until the end of the week. Uh, he was just sleeping so much better when he had more room and he had a better night's sleep. He slept longer. Now, I don't know if that was because he had more stimulation during the day and he was doing more. So he was more tired and thus like slept longer. But I really think that part of it too was that he just had extra space and he is a little boy now and he takes up a whole lot of space when he sleeps and he's pretty long. So last night it was him it was Hugo, Jeff, and I in the bed. And oh my gosh, 
Oh, did AOC? She's so happy we're home. Um, and we had like the worst, worst night's sleep. Hugo was kicking me like the whole night. Hugo actually around like 5 a.m. started to like um, get a little restless and then he woke up at 5.40 and he hadn't done that for a long time. So I thought, you know what? That's confirmation. I think that he is ready to be in his very own bed. So I will obviously let you guys know how it ends up working out. And I'll probably make like a separate video on transitioning from co-sleeping to like him in his own bed. That's a pretty emotional thing for me. I'm trying not to be like too, I don't want to use the word selfish, but I'm trying not to like get too in my head about it and get too emotional about it um, because I don't want it to hinder this plan. <laughs> I don't want to like not do it um, because I do really think that he's ready for it. And I, it, like, I feel it in my mommy instincts. And this has come up a few times before where the idea has been presented of like maybe he's ready for his own bed or like let's transition him and I've always kind of felt like mm, I don't know if he's ready I don't know if like I'm personally ready yet to like let go of him um but I feel like we've like officially reached that spot where I think he'll get a better night's sleep we'll get a better night's sleep uh and he is almost a year and a half and so I think he's I think he's ready and so although I'll be really sad because this is like I, he's been sleeping in bed with us since he was born uh, I think that this is like the next step the transition the right transition so I am going to get his bed made and ready um, and then I will finish unpacking and stuff but I'm gonna end this weekly vlog here like I said I will definitely make a whole separate video on transitioning um, from co-sleeping to a toddler bed and I'll let you guys know like day by day in that video how it goes and any tips and tricks and stuff mm, I miss you so much Elsie I think Elsie will be happy too to have our bed back to to the three of us right Maybe you and daddy okay um yeah guys thanks so much for watching this week's weekly vlog and it was kind of all over the place quite literally um but I will see you next week. And thanks so much for watching. I love you all. Bye.